Good morning and it's Tuesday today and I can't believe we're back home already. We actually got back last night about 6 o'clock which was really good considering the fact that it took us 8 hours to get to Lakeside and it took us just over 5 hours to get back to my brother's and we stayed there for about half an hour for Mr G to have a cup of coffee to get his energy back for the drive back here and it was so lucky that it took us about an hour or just over an hour to get back into Hampshire or to Winchester where we live. So now he's back to work. It is I think just gone about 8 o'clock and just made my soya latte and I'm going to go and see what's happening on my laptop and catch up with, up with not uploads oh my gosh catch up with updates on my laptop and start doing what I need to do I'm just having my second coffee now and I'm fancying something a bit sweet well I fancy more of a sweet coffee and I tend not to have any sugar at all in my coffee which is fine and the reason for that is because I started getting hot flushes in January so I cut out sugar in my coffee although I only have one or two coffees anyway and I have to have them before about 12 o'clock because otherwise it will wake me up in the middle of the night and I can't get back to sleep again and I know that if you're a woman at the age of change you're probably the same. So normally we wouldn't have any breakfast and we'll have our bulletproof coffee and then I will have lunch between 12 and 2 o'clock depending on Mr G's timetable. But over the weekend because we were with family and obviously you're relaxed, you're on holiday, you don't really want to be being too strict with your diet. So we were having breakfast and we were having convenience foods really as you do when you're on holiday. So I think that's probably the reason why I'm feeling the need for something sweet. Oh it's on dark because the cloud has covered the sun and that's why all of a sudden it's gone dark in here. So I was saying that Normally I wouldn't have any sugar in my coffee but because of all the convenience foods and we'd got to a point where we were having breakfast pretty much every day and that's probably what's causing me to feel the need for sugar. I could probably do without it but I'm just... I want it. <laughs> There's a difference between needing it and wanting it and that's what I'm going to do. However, I'm not going to use normal sugar. I'm going to use honey. So this is the honey that I'm going to use and although we do have other honey, the whole reason that I'm going to use this is because Manuka honey is supposed to have lots of compounds and other ingredients in it naturally because of the way that they feed on the Manuka plant. And the reason I've left it a bit later in my coffee is because I wanted the coffee to cool down a little bit before I added it so as not to destroy the goodness in the honey. And I'm only going to have a little bit anyway. Although I don't normally... Well, I do have sort of a sweet tooth, but only when I feel like it. A lot of the time I can resist it. That's what I mean about wanting it and needing it, the difference. So that's all I'm going to have. And the coffee is just hotter than tepid. If that makes sense. That way... It all the goodness in the honey isn't going to be destroyed by the heat of the hot water. So for me that's going to be sweet enough without adding any proper sugar if you see what I mean. So let's see this. It's taking a bit of time to actually dissolve in the coffee. So let's have a taste. It's not actually that sweet but 
it's sweet enough to satisfy the urge of a sweet coffee back to the office it's now about quarter past two and i was going to make lunch a bit earlier but i had some crackers just before 12 or around half 11 time and i got carried away with editing the video that i want to post today so all i'm going to have today is some sea bass and some salad and it will just make such a nice change from what we had while we were away and it's a shame that i wasn't able to record any of the meals that i did take apart from the one i think when we stopped on the way to my brother's and we had a burger from burger king which was really rubbish and like i said in the video it just shows you how long we haven't had these convenience foods because i just can't believe how expensive they'd gotten anyway so i've got the pan heating up behind me for the fish and i'm just going to have some mixed salad and i'm going to add some of my sauerkraut on the salad keeping it really simple because of all the convenience foods that we've had over the past few days my body and I'm sure it's the same for Mr G it's just craving for fresh food so sadly the fish isn't as pretty as I'd like it to be namely because our non-stick pan is no longer non-stick as you can see and it's left most of the skin and some of the fish onto the pan but I'm sure it will be just as tasty so I really enjoyed that salad it was nice to have some crunch in my food after the past few days of endless chips we don't normally have a lot of chips we'd have chips maybe once or twice a month but as it goes while we were away we had chips nearly if not every day namely because that's what was available mostly and even a little pot of hot pot in this place that we found and it was really nice actually it was a really nice hot pot because it was full of meat with just a thin slice of potatoes on top and I found it really funny that it was served with sliced bread and butter I still feel for something sweet I, I think because the weather is a bit cloudy at the moment now and I think I'm just wanting something warm so I'm going to have a cup of tea and possibly the leftover biscuit. The other thing I am going to have is some more water and I'm wondering whether that's part of the problem because it's after three o'clock now and usually I would have had about three glasses or three pints of water by now I've just poured my second glass of water why I feel quite dehydrated and feeling a bit shaky it's that thing you know when you're feeling dehydrated and you stop your heart starts giving you palpitations so that's what's happening so I am just going to drink this water and this may be the reason why I'm also craving a cup of tea I'm probably wanting some water instead of a cup of tea is what I think I'm trying to say so it's now about 10 past 6 and so this is what we're having for dinner and they're already in the oven because it's already late and to go with the fish I am going to make a gluten-free penne pasta with chopped vegetables and this is going to be really simple because simple is good
So we've got all the vegetables ready for gentle sautéing once the pasta comes out. So we've got tomatoes, onion, the green pepper, some mushrooms and the garlic and the pasta and broccoli are nearly ready to come out. So as you can see the broccoli is still pretty green and quite crispy so they've still got a bite for them. That way they were only in the water for about two to three minutes just so that they keep as much vitamins in them. And as you can hear, I am gently sauteing the vegetables. We want them soft really and not overcooked. So for me this is the cheap way of having pasta and roast vegetables without having to wait for half an hour roasting the vegetables. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and the recipes I've shared. If you have, I'd love you to tap the like button as this will help the channel grow. If you'd like more recipe ideas for your menopause diet, remember to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you'll get notified when I've posted another video. Once the vegetables are soft enough to your liking, add the pasta and the broccoli and warm through. You may need to add more oil to prevent the pasta from sticking to the pan. So this is our dinner tonight, lemon sole in breadcrumbs and vegetable pasta. And I'm hot and I'm going to go and eat my dinner. So I'll see you in the next video.